What's up guys, it's me Vlad and today I'm going to show you guys how to play the unreleased battle game mode in Girl Attack. Uh, this game mode was already tested like uh, I think a month ago or so or two months ago but it was in a separate version of Girl Attack and you weren't able to actually play it uh, for long. You're able to play it uh, during the beta test period but today I'm going to show you guys how to actually play it right now and you're going to be able to play with people actually i uh, made a deal with two of my subscribers i showed them how to do this method and uh, they're waiting for me right now in the public lobby and uh, when after the tutorial or after the video i'm going to show you guys uh, basically the gameplay of this game mode and i'm going to play with those two people so you'll see that uh, you can actually play the multiplayer with your friends or someone else uh, but let's start a video also i just wanted to, to say that uh, i don't promote uh, the use of this uh, i don't condone the use of mods or changes the files in game and uh, you do this at your own risk i'm not responsible for anyone who is doing this and this is entertainment and educational purposes only so just educating people that uh, this is possible to do okay so first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go under this video the video you're watching i'm just going uh, to use uh, the quest mods video as an example so under the video you're watching you'll see discord with the mod menu link basically uh it's a standout link it's in every every one of my videos so you want to click on it and uh, you'll get redirected to my discord uh, so you're gonna get redirected to my discord right here as you can see and uh what you want to do is oh my god someone is spamming or whatever can i delete has two messages. Don't spam, please. I respond to all of you guys. As you can see, we have 10,000 members. So, yay. We got 10k, man. Uh, thank you to all of you guys. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, but uh, that's not the point of the video. So, what you want to do is scroll down to Gorilla Tag Mod Section. So, G Tag Mod Section. And you actually want to click on this GitHub link for the Monkey Mod Manager. If you already have Monkey Mod Manager, uh, you can just uh, watch through this step. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but if you don't have Monkey Mod Manager, you just uh, click on that link. Click on uh, monkeymodmanager.exe right here. Download it and uh, it should be in your downloads folder uh, should be in your downloads folder right here and as you can see monkey mod manager i have the eighth version of monkey mod manager if you don't know uh it goes uh, zero one two three four five seven so uh, i have the eighth version doesn't really matter so i have the eighth app because i'm, I'm making like 20 tutorials uh, per week on how to do stuff so that's why but it doesn't matter so what you do is basically you open it so after you open it uh, what you want to do is actually install some of the mods so the mods you're gonna want to install you're gonna go down and uh, you will want to install uh computer interface just click computer interface then you want to install utila and tmp loader so install these ones and uh, click install and update to install them basically so uh, they're just the basic mods that you need for most stuff okay and uh, next what you will want to do is uh, in my discord you can actually find uh the mod menu section and in the mod menu section uh you can just click on any of them it doesn't matter you just need to get to my twitch so to get to my twitch click on the mod menu click on my twitch or just uh, on twitch search up cool dude flat so click on this link or search up cool dude flat on twitch uh, click on it right here okay next what you want to do is click on the chat section right here so we just click on the chat section and actually you may not see this uh, chat pop up if you don't see it just uh basically you probably let me disable my webcam for a second you probably have an air arrow right here which after you hover over you can see expand just click on it and you'll see the chat this is just uh, for the people who, uh, who didn't see the chat but after you see the chat everything is all right what you want to do is actually just search up exclamation mark u e u e exclamation mark u e basically type in here by the way the twitch name is cool Vlad. you can see it right there and uh, yeah 
just uh, type in exclamation mark UE and uh, you should see this right here, the message pop up. Uh, it says, uh, here's the Unity Explorer mod. Uh, I'm not associated with the mod in any way. I uh, didn't make it and don't promote it. Uh, the responsibility for one doing this it goes fully on him. So what you want to do is uh, you click on this link right here. You click on it. And uh, under my webcam, I'm going to disable it once again. You'll see this arrow right here with a uh, download. And uh, don't worry guys, these are not viruses if you're concerned that uh, this is official Unity Explorer mod. And uh, I'm going to put them in virus total so you guys actually can see that uh, these uh, are, uh, aren't any viruses. Uh, but yeah. Okay guys, so you'll want to click on this arrow right here named download. Just click on it. It's at the top right. And you'll get this Unity Explorer zip right here installed. So after this, you're gonna want to go to your zip folder. You're gonna want to go to, or not zip, downloads folder. If I installed three of them, don't mind it, I'm gonna delete them. And because my internet was bad, I cut off the part uh, where it didn't install, my internet turned off for a second. Uh, so you're gonna see this package right here. If you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip, you're gonna want to download, I yeah, prefer WinRAR. Just search up WinRAR right here. And uh, you can click download WinRAR here. Just click download on it. And click download again, it's completely free. As you can see, it's installed, so WinRAR, I'm going to cancel it. But over here, you're gonna see a steps on how to actually download WinRAR. I forgot to enable my webcam, sorry for that. Uh, okay, just uh, click here, then click yes. Uh, then agree, or install, then okay, then done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, oh someone followed me. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Uh, every time someone follows me on Twitch, I actually get a notification of a video. So if you follow at the right time, you actually appear in a video. That's pretty cool. Uh, but after you installed WinRAR, or if you already have what had WinRAR 7-zip or something to open zip folders, you're gonna want to go to your downloads section or downloads folder. Or you can just click over here on this uh, zip icon if you have it. But if you don't, you just go to your downloads folder you just uh, double click on a Unity Explorer mod. Okay. And next, what you want to do. Uh, so wait a second. I'll close this. Uh, you'll actually want to go back to our Monkey Mod Manager. If you closed Monkey Mod Manager, it's fine. Just open it up again. I'm going to close it. Just to show you guys. Uh, open it up again. Monkey Mod Manager. Then go to Utilities. Go to Utilities right here. Um, basically, utilities, got it. Then go to the BEP and X folder. BEP and X folder over here, as you can see. We are in the utilities folder, BEP and X folder right here. Click on it, bumps, bumps, you know. Uh, okay, so after we're in the BEP and X folder, you're gonna want to basically select these two folders. After you select these two folders by just holding on the random space and dragging the red square or cube, I don't know, uh, basically, uh, you'll want to click Control C. So we copy the folders. After we copy the folders, you're gonna want to click on our Bepinex uh, folder window and you're gonna click Control or basically click Control V to paste or just uh, click uh, paste right here. To copy, you can, uh, if you don't have a keyboard for some reason, you can uh, click uh, right click and uh, click copy, uh, copy file somewhere here or to the clipboard, I guess, whatever. Uh, but here, you're gonna want to click Control V to paste it or click right click and click paste. Um, okay. So next, what you'll want to do, you'll see these uh, folders pop up. If you didn't see them pop up, you did something wrong. But uh, you can ask me for help in my Discord or in the comments, doesn't matter. Next, what you'll want to do is uh, go into the plugins folder right here. And uh, you're gonna want to actually, let me delete this. Um, don't mind this menu. Okay, you're gonna want to actually just paste the folders again. So paste them again. Control V. Okay, they didn't paste for some reason. So we're gonna want to go into plugins again. We're gonna want to 
select these folders again, copy them, paste them. See, copy, paste, copy, paste. Control C, Control V. Okay, as you can see, they're in here and they're in the Bepanex folder. So, if uh, they're in both folders, the Unity Explorer folder and Unity Libs, you did everything right. After that, what you'll want to do is you're gonna want to open up Monkey Mod Manager again. Doesn't matter if you closed it, doesn't matter, uh, just uh, open it up again in our downloads folder, but you're gonna want to click install slash update. This is really important, click install slash update. If you don't click on this, nothing will work. Click install slash update, and this basically installs our mods. By the way, I just uh, forgot to show you guys that on virus total, uh, these uh, folder, or these two folders uh, don't have any viruses, checking hash. Uh, actually, it might be stuck because uh, large folders usually are stuck on checking hash. You cannot do much about them. Okay, let me actually let me actually try the one of the plugins folder. You don't have to do this. I'm just uh, showing you guys that these folders don't have viruses. Okay, it doesn't work. Whatever, virus total doesn't work on big folders. Yep. Um, yep. So next, what you'll want to do is actually you'll want to open up. A Unity, um, Unity Explorer, or not Unity Explorer, just the Gorilla Tag. The Gorilla Tag a game on your PC. Gorilla Tag game, search it up, search it up on Steam. If you don't have it on Steam, open up Gorilla Tag right here. Okay. Um. Yep, wait a second, gonna close this right here. So we're in our game. We're in our game. As you can see, everything is fine. Everything is cool. What you'll want to do next is you're going to want to click on Object Explorer at the top left. You'll see this menu. If you don't see this menu, you did something wrong. Repeat the steps or ask me in my Discord. I'll help you. Okay. Uh, click on Object Explorer right here. Then you'll see this menu appearing. What you'll want to do is search up beta. Uh, over here, you click on here and search a beta or beta, yeah, beta, and then click enter. After you did this, you're gonna see these uh, four thingies. So basically, over here on the anchor right here, you'll see disable for beta. You're gonna want to unclick that, uncheck that so it's black, and uh, check enable for beta. Over here on the bottom, you'll see tree room texts. You're gonna want to unclick this and click this. Uh, basically yep next on the bottom if you didn't don't see these for some reason you'll have a scroll bar here just scroll down uh, you'll see disable for beta and anchor again just unclick this click this and over here you'll see basically uh, text again you'll see game mode list text you're going to want to uncheck this and check this again so pretty much after this we just uh, click on this uh, minus sign or slash sign and you'll see we actually have the battle game mode right here. So basically these are all of the steps uh, for the battle game mode and next I'm going to show you the gameplay of the game mode so you actually uh, don't think uh, that this is a scam and uh, this works with multiplayer. So uh, if you have a quest what you will want to do is you're going to want to do air link or use a link cable and you'll be able to play a uh, girl attack. Yo guys, sorry for interruption, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my bro Minion VR. He has donated to me $11 and I'm really thankful to him because this is my first ever donation I got uh, from you guys and I'm really thankful. You cannot probably tell from my face, uh, but um, I'm like monotone most of the day. So uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. Thank you Minion VR and if you want to donate, there is a link to in the description to a donation page, uh, stream elements. Uh, you can donate to me there and also uh, if you want the money to go directly to me without any commissions uh, you can uh, dm me on discord and ask me for a paypal link and uh, i'll send you it uh, i'm really thankful for all of your donation guys and yeah i cannot speak sorry for that and uh, yeah all of the donations will be included in the future videos so thank you continue the video okay guys as you could see i got in my game the battle game mode is there but I had to reset Grill Attack to open up SteamVR and for everything to work uh, with Airlink. Uh, so 
when I uh, joined the game, I had to do the same steps with game objects again uh, to basically enable the beta. And uh, everything is fine now. As you can see, I can play the be battle game mode. Let's go into the game mode. Okay. Oh my god. I think I have... We okay, hear. we're in a video. Yo. So these are two of my subscribers that waited here like 30 minutes patiently while well, I was recording the video. And uh, yeah, thank you to you guys. Shout out to you guys. We're, you're gonna be in the video. Yeah. So, how's the game mode? How do you like it? Do you like good. it? It's actually interesting. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just so more basically, laggy. Laggy? Uh, yeah, I bet, I think. So... It's like not like for the, the game itself, hmm? I'm talking about like the physics. Oh, I see. You went through a wall. <laughs> You're through. <laughs> huh? Wait, man. Huh? Bro. How do you do that? I use no clip. Oh. So. Whatever. So. Basically, we get this here. And uh, we use the grip button to use our slingshot and what we have to do is we have to shoot uh the balloons on the back of the players and who has the balloons left when the game finishes once the game oh my god i'm so bad man why am i so bad at this that would be pretty good man Freaking spider monkey. Spider monkey? I don't know. I think your mod menu is broken. Yeah, your your mod menu is probably broken. <laughs> if it's stuck, oh, shouldn't no. be. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you did this and this worked for you guys, so other people know that this actually works. And uh, yeah. The game mode is pretty cool, although it doesn't have people. For example, if you have a Discord, you can host like games in here. Uh, it's pretty cool. Or once this video comes out, if there will be more players in here, it will be pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, uh, this game mode is pretty cool, although not many players. You can play with your friends. Yo, yo, <laughs> got your balloon, man. Or I didn't. Wait, can we shoot the balloons? Do they even work? I don't know. No, they don't work. They, they don't? Do <gasps> uh-huh. So, that's a bad thing. Slower. Also, the color is black for everyone for some reason. Here, as you could see. Uh, for for, for yeah. me, it's because for I'm you, awesome. you're like pitch black. Yeah, that's because I'm using the color or whatever. Or maybe it's because uh, we're all using the colors, but whatever, who knows. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, what's slow that? Slow -mo cam. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can play with mods here, as you could see. One of the subscribers is playing with mods, so you don't get banned here. Do you have like a donate page? Donate, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's in my description and on my Twitch you can find it too. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my brother was walking past me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's you know, pretty much it. Or PayPal or Venmo or something? Yeah, you can. Um, uh, I can send you it if you want. Uh, but yeah, that will be after the video. <laughs> sure. By the way... Yeah, if someone sends me a donation, I'm gonna give them a shout out in the video, in the next video. If you want, you can. Also, I may set up the supers, so you can buy a subscription, I don't know, uh, to support my channel. Uh, uh, but, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, I guess, guys. So, thank you for watching the video. I uh, think the mod, or basically it's not really a mod. The game mode is pretty cool, although it's kind of broken right now. Hopefully, Lemming fixes it uh, after the new update. But uh, yeah, say bye, guys. Yo.
Where are you? Uh... Say bye. Yo. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. See you later, guys. Comment what do you think about the game mode, and uh, don't forget to comment something because comment really actually helps me. Because uh, the more people comment, the more YouTube thinks that the videos are more interesting, and I cannot wall walk. I'm pretty bad at game, and uh, yeah. So don't forget to comment what do you think about the game mode, and if you did play it, uh, let people know in the comments that it works. So people don't think this is a scam. But yeah, see you later, guys. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. F say subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe and leave a like in the description. Uh, it's like. below, but uh, yeah. Whatever. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Okay. So I'm gonna edit out this part. Um, I thought the actually the game mode would work. It's kind of bummer. It doesn't work. But it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. So, I'm going to upload this video probably in a few hours. I have to edit it. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna right, go, I'll be probably. I'll be yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, guys. <laughs> I had to, like, re wait. How do wait a second, man. Hello? Can you speak? Wait, huh? There's more people. Wait a second, man. It Yo, guys. Works. What's up? What the fuck? I just joined the game. Yeah, we joined the game, too. I'm like a YouTuber making a tutorial on how to do this. Yeah, huh. The game. Why is it automatically put me here? What's the what? What the fuck is going on? It actually works. Just... Damn, someone's what? using the mod menu. But whatever. Whoa, my controllers oh, well, are vibrating. Yeah, it's the mod menu. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's in the press you know, the mode. Hmm. My controllers are vibrating and I can't move. Yeah, yeah it's a mod menu. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how do I get this color? Yeah. How do I get this color? Please? Stop. My controllers. What? I'm quitting. <laughs> Yeah guys, at the end of the video, some people actually joined the server from the clip you saw previously, but I'll explain. Uh, some dude had a uh, basically mod menu that allowed you to make other people's controllers so vibrate, so it's like a paid menu. Uh, I've seen those around, uh, and it was really annoying. And the bad thing about this game mode is that uh, there no basically protection against uh, modders, uh, but... Uh, maybe that's a good thing uh, if you see that way, but uh, yeah, you can use any mod menu there The sound spammer everything works. So you don't get banned, uh, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. See you later guys. Bye. Bye